Now in this question then, we're given this probability distribution for the random variable x. And in the first part then, we've got to show that k equals 3. And to do this, this is just based on the fact that the sum of all your probabilities for your distribution should total 1. So what we need to do is just add those up. So we've got 5 over 21 plus 2k over 21 plus 7 over 21 plus the k over 21 then equals 1. And we could multiply through by 21 at this stage and we would have 5 plus the 7 which is going to be 12 and then we'd have 2k plus that k which is 3k would equal 21. And if we subtract 12 from both sides, we get 3k equals 9. And dividing both sides by 3 gives us k equals 3. All right? Now in part b, we're asked to work out f of 3, often called the cumulative probability function. It works out the probability of your random variable x being less than or equal to this given value here, 3 in this case. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 is going to be the probability that x equals 2 plus the probability that x equals 3. In other words, 5 over 21 plus, well we've got 2k over 21 here, and k was 3, so 2 3s are 6, so it's going to be 6 over 21. And that's going to give us a total then of 11 over 21. Okay, so that's part B. Let's come down here now for the next part, part C. And in part C, we've got to work out E of x, the expected value for x. Some people call this the mean, okay, for this probability distribution. And to work this out, we should be familiar with this result. It's the sum of your observed values multiplied by the probability of that observed value. So for this example then, it's going to be 2 multiplied by 5 over 21. Let's just put down the working. Plus the next observed value, 3 multiplied by the associated probability. But k is 3 here, so it's going to be 6 over 21. And then plus the next observed value, 4, multiplied by 7 over 21. And then finally, 6 multiplied by k over 21, but k was 3, so that's 3 over 21. And leave you to work that out, but what you should find you get is 74 over 21. So 74 over 21. Now in part D, we've got to work out a similar kind of value, e of x squared. e of x squared is always equal to the sum of your observed value squared times the probability of each of those observed values. So we've got to do really much the same kind of thing as what we did up here, only this time we square each of these observed values. So we've got 2 squared then multiplied by 5 over 21, the probability, plus 3 squared multiplied by its associated probability of 6 over 21, plus 4 squared times its probability, 7 over 21, and then finally plus 6 squared multiplied by 3 over 21. And if you work this one out, you end up with exactly 14. Now for the next one, part E, we've got to work out the variance of 7 times the random variable x minus 5. And to do something like this, this is what we often call combining random variables. And I've got tutorials on this on my website, as I have for all of this stuff actually. But uh, for something like this, you should know that this is exactly the same as 7 squared times the variance of x. Let's just put this down. 7 squared times the variance of x. When you add or subtract a constant on the end, then that just disappears. 
So what we've got then is essentially 49 times the variance of x. The question is though, what is the variance of x? We've yet to work it out. And you should be familiar with this result that the variance of a random variable x is always equal to e of x squared minus e of x all squared. And we already know these results. We know e of x squared, we just worked it out, it was 14. And now we just need to subtract e of x all squared, so 74 over 21 all squared. Now if you work this out, you end up with 698 over 441. So we can put this result into here, and if we do, we just got to do 49 then multiplied by 698 over 441. And if you do that, you end up with 77 and 5 ninths. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea then how you can go about this type of question. And if you're unsure, as I say, on any of these ideas, just go on my website and look under the tutorials for discrete random variables and you should find some tutorials on that. Okay?